Well, our day in the life yesterday kind of went to crap. <laughs> we forgot to record anything after the morning, as you can see. We did go to Target. We found everything that we needed for Ashley for school and for Preston for school. It was a really, really good um, outing. And Ashley had volleyball again this morning. And so Preston and I actually decided to go and walk around the track at her school while she was in practice. So she has practice for an hour and a half. Um, I walked around the track four times. So I think that's, what, one mile? And two of those times kicking a soccer ball the whole time and chasing after that. Preston brought a soccer ball, which was kind of fun for us to kind of kick back and forth. He um, hasn't had many athletic opportunities in his life, so he's not super athletic um, at this point. So we're trying to like slowly bring things into his um, life, kicking a soccer ball, playing some baseball, that kind of stuff. Um, so we uh, just played around at the school and played on the playground and stuff like that for the whole time Ashley was in practice. She came out even more sore than yesterday, poor girl. She is so sore. Her legs are killing her. Um, but she does enjoy it. She is having a good time, so that's what matters. And I'm really excited for her to um, keep going and for us to go to games and stuff like that. Um, while we were at the school, I told Preston that I really wanted to put him into soccer. Um, I thought maybe us kicking the ball around for the hour and a half would kind of help encourage him to want to do something like that. And he didn't want anything to do with it. So I brought up other sports and thought of other ideas. And finally, after like five minutes of thinking about it, he decided that he would be okay with doing baseball. I was surprised and super excited. So that is the plan right now. I found um, a, it's a U, no, the U is for soccer. I found a Little League baseball in our town that does 8 to 10 year olds for minor leagues and then 9 to 12 year olds for major leagues. So he would of course be in the minor leagues considering he's never played before. Um, and it starts I think the week after Labor Day. So I got to get him signed up for it, make sure that we have all the gear that he needs to wear for it. Really, really hope this is something that he enjoys doing. So um, that's my plan of what I need to do. Um, I think I'll probably wait until Thursday and get him signed up at that time. Nick leaves on Thursday, like I said, for Utah. So I'll have plenty of time to get all sorts of stuff done while Nick's gone. All right, we're here at the go-kart races.
so worried about what the people behind him. It's so funny. So today is August 30th, 2015. It's a very special day for me and Nick. It is the 14th birthday anniversary of our firstborn child Christian <clears throat> and for them as well he was born uh, he was a stillborn um, and so today is his birthday so we went to church this morning and we are heading now to um, get um, some decorations and flowers to decorate the grave and we're gonna head over to the cemetery right now to put him on his headstone. So let's see. I have final say but you can look and tell me what you like. I like the roses. These are some of my favorites. I love orchids. They're pretty. Actually, we pick out a little um, balloon right there that sticks in the ground. You like those ones? Yeah, the roses. They don't smell like anything though. They do smell really. They do look pretty. They don't smell anything though. Mm, I think these would great be great to give to your future wife, but not necessarily for a grave. Are you filming right now? I am. Should we get something like this? Enjoy your birthday. That's cute. Okay. Let's get that and some flowers that I choose. So we just arrived at the cemetery. We stopped at the store and got a balloon and some flowers for Christian's grave. We'll show you that when we get there. But this is the cemetery. It's really big and beautiful. You know, as far as cemeteries go. Well, the grass is nicely cut. And the trees aren't covering it. Yeah, they do maintain it really, really well, which is nice. So Not this really. is it. Come around the corner. Yeah, there used to, to be a tree way. right next to where his headstone is. And they took it out. So I'm not really sure why, but he is in, yeah, it's really dead over here. He's in the section called MB, and this is primarily where they built, bury infants, children, the young ones. So he's over here. Right there was a tree, which looks like it got removed. There's a headstone right there. So they removed the tree. Hey, this is it. We got the cute flowers, and now she's gonna clean it up. We didn't bring any supplies to clean up the headstone because that's typically Nick's job. And Nick is in Utah with his family right now, and I just, I just didn't bring anything. So this is it, Preston decorated with some pine cones, and then there's our flowers that we got, and the um, balloon just says, enjoy your birthday. I actually thought it was very fitting that the picture on there has the eyes closed since our little Christian was born asleep. 14 years, crazy. He'd probably be, let's see, 
Is there any high school? Maybe? Eighth grade or in high school by now? This headstone was here when Christian died. It's little Peyton Elizabeth, who died May 31st, 1999. Um, this is kind of where we got the inspiration for Christian's headstone, how to make it look and what to say on it. But we've always kind of had like a, I don't know, a kinship towards this one. We kind of jokingly said that maybe Peyton and Christian are playing together in heaven. <clears throat> I don't know. It'd be pretty amazing if we ever met them. Peyton and Elizabeth Mason? Mm -hmm. Why are they so important? How sweet that is. First word is actually step. It took me a second. I think they forgot to cross the T. But it says step softly. What? No. A dream what? lies buried here. What? Oh, that's so sweet. Now we are at. Clean up the last time to get the ice cream around here and then put all the um, toppings in the. Oh, that's a good idea. Now we're at yogurt time. This is so flippin' good, I can't even tell you. We come here like once a week. It's kind of crazy. And they change all the flavors. They haven't lately though, I wish they would. So we are having ice cream dessert for Christian's birthday. Happy birthday, Christian! So it's cool, you can take the little tiny cups and those little sample cups and so you can try any of the flavors. And then when you decide on one or two or five or twelve or as many as you want, you put them in a the little cup. And then you add all the toppings you want. There's Ashley's. It didn't make You add a whole bunch of toppings, as many as you want, and then it's all by weight. So it's 47 cents an ounce. Oh, that's a lot. And we just love it. So good.